friends arrive from tropical areas all over the world. From here, the beans are sorted as computers supervise the process, sending the cocoa beans through cleaning machines, like the one on your right. Any dry pot, stones, or other foreign matter are carefully removed. Hershey's quality standards are of utmost importance to us, and only after the beans are cleaned and screened are they sent on to our blending machines. Cocoa beans have different flavors depending on where they're grown, and blending machines, such as those on the left, combine beans from various countries in just the right proportions to maintain that unique Hershey's flavor. With the beans blended, what? they're then set ahead he to be roasted head. in large revolving roasters like this one. The roasted cocoa beans are then ready to move on to the next stage of the process, a process that will begin to transform plain cocoa beans into Hershey's milk chocolate. It begins right up ahead with a process known as breaking. With the beans now roasted, they arrive here at the breaking chamber where the shells are shattered into tiny fragments. What's left is called the nib the part of the bean actually used to make chocolate. The nibs now pass through milling machines, as seen on the left. This grinding process generates extreme heat, which melts the nib into a liquid called chocolate liquor. Of course, this liquid has no alcohol content. This is the liquid from which all chocolate is made. Next, this large press machine is used to squeeze cocoa butter from the chocolate liquor. This cocoa butter will be added back later in the process to make the chocolate smooth and clean. Well, now we come to that all important.